Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I want to take you by the hand in explaining a little bit about drawing faces in a fast way. Uh, when you are urban sketching then uh, you have very little time to uh, put down the characters that are around you. And I have a simple rule for this that I want to explain to you in a simple way during this tutorial. Now what I did is I've drawn a, an egg shape and I divided the egg shape in three parts to easily uh, make a face on my uh, drawing sheet. So let me explain. First you draw an egg shape and then on the top you draw the hairline. Then you make a center line and this line you divide in one third. The first line is the hairline, the second line is the brow line, the third line is the underneath nose line, and then uh, the lower line is the chin line. And in between the nose and the chin, you can put a line for the mouth. Now this guy is uh, wearing a mustache, and maybe he has some uh, darker hair on the sides. Should you want to see the whole process and more explanations, then you can find me on Patreon if you want to uh, really dive into this. But this guy is uh, wearing a uh, moustache and a little short beard and he's wearing a leather jacket with a uh, fur collar and the insides of the eyes I make a little bit darker because the eyes are quite deep inside the skull. So here is uh, the rule of the uh, one-thirds. Now let me explain this from the side view. When you draw a face from the side you can easily draw in a circle and then connect a triangle to that circle. That was my cat. Um, here we have the hairline. The center line is now in front and I divide it again in one third. So we have the hairline, the brow line, the underneath nose line and the chin line. By that way I exactly know where to place the eyes, the nose and the mouth and the eyes lay a little bit back in the skull, inside the skull. And uh, then I have uh, very quickly uh, maybe a young boy that I can see from the side. And the ear comes from the, um, uh, the jawline. And maybe this young guy is wearing a, uh, a cap little hat and um, well I'll draw in a little bit of shadow for the underneath of the cap and maybe he has uh, also of course there's some hair coming from underneath the, the cap and, and then in a very quick manner I create uh, a young boy that uh, I see from the side and uh, by simply applying the one-third, one-third, one-third rule. So let me explain this again. You draw a circle. Then uh, from the inside of the circle we connect the jaw. Now the circle is the bone which is uh, the actual skull and the jaw is a, um, a mechanical part that can uh, move up and down, but the skull is solid. Coming down from the skull, there is uh, the spine, of course, and this is the great, uh, there's a hole inside the skull that holds the eye. And from the brow line down, I can draw in the nose. Here are the lips. 
and uh, my cat is very enthusiastic. <laughs> uh, and uh, this person is wearing a hat. Uh, and uh, well, I can just uh, go around the skull to create a, a nice hat on this person. So I try, even though it's a, a very simple way of drawing with not too much detail, uh, I still want it to be correct. I draw a little bit of hair coming from underneath uh, the hood and maybe there's some uh, nice ornament on the hood or something. Uh, that's what you see. Uh, I see uh, maybe a, a young lady with a nice hat and then I can easily draw her in this manner. Now there's also the three-quarter position and that is uh, the most difficult for most people because uh, we have a foreshortening. So this is a three-quarter view. And uh, what you get is that the left side in this case is only one quarter while on the right side of the face you see three quarters. I again make a dividing uh, of one third, one third, one third. And then, then I know the brow line, I know the underneath nose line and in between the nose and the chin, I can easily place in the mouth. So here's the triangle in between the two brows and this is the side plane of the nose and this is the underneath plane of the nose. And also the mouth is only one quarter and this is three quarters. So you have to make sure that uh, also the mouth and the nose and also the eyes are placed in a three-quarter position. So the left uh, eye, for instance, is a little bit uh, smaller than the right eye. Then I can easily put in the uh, irises and the neck comes from behind the skull. And uh, this is the little uh, tendon, the muscle that moves the head around. So here we get the eye and then the eyebrow sits on the brow line. So that is an easy way of drawing the three-quarter position with the rule of the one-third uh, dividing. Now maybe this is a, a lady that I see, uh, she's sitting on the bar and she is uh, wearing a, a pony uh, and she has long hair. So I can easily uh, now draw the hair dangling down from the skull. Now if somebody has uh, long hair then you wouldn't see the eye of course. And I also try always to uh, uh, take a little bit of notice of uh, where the light source is coming from. So maybe I will pick a light source that is coming from above. Then I can easily uh, draw away the ear and uh, make uh, darken up the hair. Maybe she has dark hair and uh, there will be some shadow going on just underneath. Uh, her pony and of course uh, the, the inside of the hair on the uh, left side and the eyes always uh, take a lot of shadow because the eyes lay deep inside the skull and that also goes for the uh, upper lip and the underneath of the nose so now I'm paying a little, uh, little bit longer attention. I draw in some more shadows. So the left side of the face catches a lot of shadow and uh, the right side of the face is uh, in the light source. 
So here she is, together with uh, some guy smoking a cigarette, sitting at the bar. And I hope you, uh, well, do something with this knowledge and maybe this will help you draw faster and better urban faces. And should you want to see more about this, then you can find me on my Patreon page. Thank you for watching and I wish you all the success.